Hello friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how I design a product for my online shop. I designed these stickers a little while ago and I think they're super cute and super fun. They combine my two great loves in life which are cats and fruits. First I like to write out a list of all the items that I want to create. Um, for this cat show that I was in with my friends I wanted to create some stickers and some postcards in addition to some things I already had, like an oval painting that was fairly large and some other smaller paintings too. Also some enamel pins, and I would also really like to show that enamel pin creation process as well. My friends and I were tabling at a one day only cat themed art show, so I wanted to create a few new products specifically to launch at this show. Now that I had a game plan in place, I needed to start sketching. And my sketches are super loose and can be a combination of lists and notes along with some really bad drawings. I personally don't believe in really pretty, super like tight and cleaned up sketchbooks. For me, it's just me getting my ideas out of my head. I already had some fruits in mind that I wanted to work on, but I made a list. And as you can see here, the ones with the little stars next to them are the one I end up finally choosing. These stickers have already been designed, but I am going to now walk you through that process of taking these sketches to the final drawing. First, I spent time developing the color palette before working on each drawing. Here you can see on the right that that's the final illustration, but I'm going to be redrawing it for you here on the left. I first take a photo and send it to myself and then drop it into my document and set it to the right size. These stickers are all about two and a half inches, so I scaled everything at 300 dpi to the correct final dimensions. Since I'm creating a collection of six stickers, I made sure that every individual part was on a separate layer, that way I could recolor and adjust the balance against all the pieces together. I'm just going to make a few final tweaks here to make it close to the final product. And I'm also going to put behind this a stroke just because these are die cut stickers and they will have a white outline around them. This is just for mock-up purposes, you don't need to do this. The printer usually will handle this themselves. Here are all six stickers together and they were all created in the same process as the one I just showed you. Here are some close-up shots of the final stickers and me packaging those items for my online shop. The stickers were printed through Sticker Mule, which is a pretty popular website, but their product is also really good too. These are their vinyl die cut stickers and they honestly run promotions all the time for a lot of different products. You can follow them on Instagram and they do a lot of giveaways as well. 
For my paper products and art prints, I use the company Cat Print, and they're based out of New Jersey, and they have a really great Instagram too with lots of pet photos, of course. And they just have really great customer service and a lot of recycled papers, which I really enjoy. I'm gonna leave links down below to both of these companies just because I think they're super great. And for Sticker Mule, I'm going to include my referral link. That way you can get $10 off. So if you happen to use that link, please let me know. I really would love to see what stickers you make. If you like these stickers, they are available currently on my online shop, which is just kimbogeman.com, my first and last name. You can also scroll through my portfolio, which has a variety of projects, including the work that I do for Target and personal artwork, my enamel pins, etc. In my shop, you can find cat themed products, enamel pins, and art prints. The cat stickers are currently first listed in my shop, and they are $12 plus shipping. You can read all about the details here and see some more product photos. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I post art videos on Fridays. Get out there and make something today. Mm -hmm.